Good morning. It's three of us with morning coffee. Can you see my girl? <laughs> she had to be on my lap today. She wanted to be part of the conversation. And the conversation today, I wanted to have coffee with you over, is about really getting a grip on seeing how your own beliefs are really creating your life. So I don't know about you, but I lived a, a large part of my life thinking life happens to me, right? I got to figure out how to deal with the things that happen to me. So whatever they are, whatever other people do, whatever happens out in the world, it's happening and I'm trying to figure out how to cope. And that didn't work so well. I don't know about you, but for me, when that's where I was, that didn't work so well. When I really shifted, and now this is the work that I do with my clients, but when I really shifted to understand that my reality, my life is 100% under my control in terms of the beliefs that I hold, the filters that I see these events through, the beliefs that I hold about myself, really the relationship that I have with what's happening, how I relate to it, and also my relationship with myself. When I got that, everything changed. And I see it with my clients all the time. It's just all, it's, you know, not the way we normally see the world and the way we see our life. I was, I was going to say it's a, it's a hard thing to see. It's not really a hard thing to see. It's just that you have, you're not used to looking there. So if you are feeling really stuck and challenged, and I get people messaging me all the time with really difficult things. They've had a lot of loss in their life. They've been in therapy for years. Things happen to them and they've sort of given up, except for the people who don't give up, who say, I know inside I wanna live a better life. You know, even if you've been in therapy for years, therapy oftentimes, and it's therapy's great and is very often the right tool, but therapy also can just give you the tools to cope with exactly what you've got, which is different than what I'm saying. So I had a client yesterday, we were on a call together and it was actually her 61st birthday. And she said to me, I've been in therapy for 30 years. like." How come I've never seen it like this before? And it's really just because it's a completely different approach than what typical therapy is. So if you've been doing that, if you've been in therapy, if you've, I know, honey, I know. If you've um, still feel stuck, if you're coping. So coping in life is a lot like taking medicine for your health right? You have a health issue and the doctor gives you a prescription. Like let's say you get migraine headaches and you get a prescription for migraine headaches because I had that years ago. Um, the prescription helps you not feel the headache when it hits, but it doesn't go after why do you get migraine headaches? Why does that happen? So that's the same thing. When we're using coping mechanisms, we're not going after why life is feeling so hard, why the burnout never ends, why the frustration, why we feel disconnected. We're not going after the why, we're just learning how to cope with it. So if you're interested in your why, if you want to really, you know, shift all of that so that you're not, you're not spending the rest of your life coping, it's a completely different set of skills but it's like taking your life and going from black and white TV to color. It's like, whoa, everything's really different. So this girl, her name is Luna. Luna and I wanted to just give you some hope that it doesn't have to stay like that and you don't have to stay where you are, okay? Have a really good day. Have a great weekend coming and I'll see you next week.